Because of the lockdowns, many Americans have been hoping and waiting for a stimulus check. And of course, with the extra benefits from unemployment, people are able, people are basically able either to get by or do better than they were doing before. But for many Americans, unfortunately, who did not receive a stimulus check, and there were many, many people would be surprised to know that a lot of that money, unfortunately, went to criminals. Yes. So this report talks a little bit about the millions upon millions of dollars that went to people in jail. And of course, no surprise, it's in California. Should be in the hands of struggling families will likely never be repaid. It is perhaps and will be one of the biggest fraud of taxpayer dollars in California history. A billion dollars worth of unemployment benefits now in the pockets of tens of thousands of inmates across the state. To give you an idea of the type of criminals cashing in, Scott Peterson was one of the names used. It involves rapists and child molesters, human traffickers and other violent criminals in our state prisons. From March to August, 35,000 claims have been filed in the name of California state prison inmates. This includes 133 inmates currently on death row. To put it in perspective, 20,000 of those claims have been paid since August, amounting to $140 million. It's scary how much money has been lost, not to, it went the wrong way, but stolen. It's stolen money. The San Mateo County DA's office was one of the first to uncover this fraud scheme in California, where 21 inmates, including these eight at a Redwood City Correctional Facility, were charged for defrauding the state out of $250,000 worth of unemployment benefits. We figured, oh, it's probably in some other county jails too. But to find out that it's a theft of hundreds of millions going throughout our state prison, going to death row even, that has to stop that. So how does it stop? And why didn't the state catch this? The reason stems from the lack of a cross-examining system that would ensure incarceration data is matched against EDD claims. We need to turn off the spigot. Right now, there is no cross-matching between the incarceration data and EDD on a routine basis like it's being done in 35 other states. An issue nine district attorneys across the state voiced in a letter to the governor requesting help on the urgent matter. State Senator Scott Weiner agrees it must be a priority. We need to take a look at why we're not cross-referencing. If there is a, if there is a statute that prevents them from cross-referencing, clearly that has to be changed. A policy change necessary to help the hundreds of thousands of people like Brittany and Ben. All of my money on that card, like I can't even go get food. I haven't been able to pay October's rent because of that. Who need this money to survive. And the sad part is, literally, realistically speaking, if this was the private sector, Many of these individuals who basically were responsible for checks and balances, for making sure that the money went to the appropriate people, many of these individuals would just lose their job. But because this is the public sector, it doesn't matter. No one will, no one will typically lose their job. And of course, typically the buck stops at the top with, of course, Governor Newsom, who is grossly incompetent and has no idea how to run the economy. But of course, for many of these, for many of these individuals who typically don't know how to run businesses outside of criminal activity, as in Governor Newsom, who, when he basically shut down his state, his business, of course, was allowed to remain open. And of course, he was allowed to skirt many of the laws that he had put into place in terms of social distancing and wearing a mask with his recently being discovered going out into uh, having a private dinner with some family and friends. And this is the gross incompetence that in the private sector you would be fired for quickly you'd be quickly fired in the private sector for this amount of gross incompetence but since it's your tax dollars of course no one will of course basically get into trouble for what's going on and it doesn't surprise me in the democratic state of california that this happens